Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Prom season is just around the corner, so today I'm going to be doing a fun glam purple smoky eye that's perfect for prom. We are going to be starting with our eyes for this look today, and I'm going to start by using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm just putting that all over my eyelids, and remember that a little bit of this product does go a long way. Next, I'm going to use a MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Stormy Pink. I'm using a brush that was made for cream eyeshadows, and I'm just going to focus this product on the center of my lids, and then I can kind of fan it out into my inner and outer corners. Now taking a small detail brush in the deep purple shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette, I'm just going to put that eyeshadow in the outer corners and drag it all the way into my crease. Without adding any more product to the eyelid, I'm going to just take a fluffy blending brush and just blend the crease a little bit more. Now taking a more dense crease brush, I'm just going to take the metallic plum shade from the Anastasia palette and pack that shade into my outer corner. Again, without adding any more product, I'm just going to blend that crease more. Next, I'm going to spritz that same cream eyeshadow brush with some MAC Fix Plus and then pick up the pink champagne shade from the Anastasia palette and just put that all over the center of my lid. taking MAC Fluid Line Eyeliner in the color Macro Violet. I'm taking one of my MAC eyeliner brushes and just putting that all over my upper lash line. Taking the same liner brush but cleaning it before, of course, I'm going to take my Tarte Tardis Clay Paint Liner to create that dramatic wink. lashes mascara and I'm just applying this to my upper lashes right now I will do my bottom lashes when my entire face is done
finally time for the brows. I always feel so naked without my brows. So I'm gonna start with using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate and my Makeup Forever 274 Brow Brush. When I do my brows, I try to outline the brows a little bit before filling them in. So I start by outlining the bottom and creating the tail and then I'll go in and fill them in all the way. Brow Powder Duo in the shade Dark Brown. I'm taking the darker powder of the two and I'm just going to go over that dip brow to set the brows. Now taking the Benefit Cosmetics Boing Concealer, I'm going to use this with a small detailer brush to go in and clean up the brows a little bit. Charmer from the Tartlet and Bloom palette and a small eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to go in over that concealer on the brow bone to highlight and brighten that up. Moving on to the face, we're going to start with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer and just put that all over our face. The foundation I'm using today is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation in the shade 117. This is a great foundation when you're doing anything with photography or anything. Um, it's made for cameras, so it's very nice for something like prom. And I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand and put it in dots all over my face. my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that into my face. Weightless 
powder in the shade Light Warm. I'm putting that under my eyes, then I'm going to go back in with my Beauty Blender and blend that in. take the contour a little step farther today since this is a glamorous look. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit and I'm taking the shade Havana and I'm just going to put that where you would normally contour. shade from the contour cream kit, I'm going to go in and highlight my face. With my Real Techniques buffing brush, I'm going to go in and start buffing out that contour. with the brush just a little bit. I'm going to finish that off with the Beauty Blender. Going in with my Beauty Blender, I'm going to start buffing in that highlight. finish blending in that nose contour with my beauty blender. Now we're going to go and set everything we've done so far. I'm taking the two lighter shades in the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and my Morphe M438 brush and I'm just going to set my under eyes and everywhere we highlighted with this powder. Taking the darkest color in the palette, I believe this is the shade Somber. I'm going to go in and contour my face a little bit more. taking a Becca Skin Perfecting Highlighter in the shade Opal. I'm going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, the cupid's bow, and my temple area with this highlighter. And on to blush, we're using the NARS Sin blush today. This is one of my favorite blushes ever and I'm just applying this using my Morphe E4. Now to finish off the eyes, we're going to take a flat liner brush and I'm going to mix the deep purple and metallic plum shades from the Anastasia palette and just apply that to my lower lash line. And we can't forget mascara on the lower lash line. Again, I'm just using the MAC False Lashes Mascara. I'm going to go in with MAC Subculture Lip Liner to line the lips and fill them in a little bit. Now 
lastly, I'm going in with Max Real Redhead Lipstick to finish off this look. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I will see you guys next time. Bye!